Hi guys, welcome to the new video of Next.js 13. In this video, I'll talk about post requests, uh, patch requests and delete requests in Next.js 13 uh, API folders. Okay, so in the previous videos, I showed you the get request, different ways of creating routes and uh, let's come over here. So I use this URL for getting the posts. This is the public API and we can use it for testing purpose. Okay, so we cannot actually test the post request from the browser. So I'll be using Postman to test the post API and also the patch and delete APIs as well. So let's write, I'm going to copy this line. And since I'm, I'm in the API directory di directly, so I'll be only triggering slash API and this post request should be triggered. Okay. So it is a post and uh, i'll i'll keep this request because uh, um, it will be used to um, actually get the data which is coming from the client side mainly the body the the post means that adding a new data in the database so we have the array of posts and uh, if we want to create a new post object in the array of posts then we can uh, receive the data with the body. So in order to receive the data, I can actually use the await and then the request dot JSON. Okay, so this is how I can get the body uh, and I need to stringify it because it's, it's already passed. So uh, now if I go to the documentation of JSON placeholder, and let's come down and this is creating a resource and you can see that we can actually pass the body data like this we need to stringify it before passing it to the body and then we need to set the post and the next yes gives us another way and uh, this is actually a public api it will not be really updating the database of this uh, public API otherwise uh, there are thousands of people using this public API and their database will fill up with the junks with the uh, with the uh, with the data that they don't want so if we get the response like this that will automatically be meant to us that our post request is working fine okay but we don't uh, need to check the database of this website whether it's added or not okay uh, so now let's go to our uh, VS code and along with passing this header, I can um, actually add a body. So body and then the JSON dot stringify and then passing the body. Okay, I don't need to pass an ID because it's just, it should just be the post request uh so it's a post and uh, now uh it's giving an error uh i should not add semicolon because it was not a one statement it's an object okay so this is how i am getting the response and data and returning the data okay so let's save it and i'm going to rerun the project i'm gonna go to the postman and I already added this get requests so just to let you know that if get requests works in the postman as well or not so I'm hitting the get so it's returning an empty data the reason is that I have actually commented out the all posts uh, get requests okay so instead I'm going to comment this and enable above API okay so now you can see that it is returning all the data which is I think the hundred posts which is coming from that public API so this is the post request which I've already created you need to set the post from here okay and then set the URL of API which you need to call and rather than clicking on the params and none you need to pass some body data that you want to add inside it so click on body raw and then click on the json from here and here you need to actually create a new object which you need to pass to that particular uh, object 
to that API. Okay. So I've just passed this user ID randomly, uh, even though if it, I don't think it exists, but this data should be added in that. So I'll hit send and uh, it is returning internal server error. So let's go and see the request with get head method cannot have a body. So let's come down and uh, let's see where we got. Oh, so it should be. I added the curly braces after that. So I think this was the issue. So let's save it. Let's go and send. And it is again returning the 500. So request with get cannot have a body. So do I have the body in the get? No, I don't have that. And in the post, I have this uh, request dot JSON. We are getting it from the body and then the await. Oh, so in here, I actually need to give a method as well. Uh, in get, I don't need to give it a method. So I need to give it post. Okay. So this post method is actually a part of the fetch request. Fetch method actually require the method keyword to actually process this uh, successfully. But it has nothing to do with this post function. It is a part of Next.js and this method is required by this fetch function. Okay. So let's go and click on send. And yeah, so its status is 200 now and it is giving us this data and we were expecting to have this data which is the output. So our post request is working fine and we are receiving the data using this uh, request.json object. Okay, so just like this we can pass, uh, we can update any particular object and uh, I'm going to change it to patch, change it to patch as well and for updating a particular uh, data we we can uh, uh, first we need two things we need a new data which will be coming from the body and also we need an id that which object needs to be updated with that new data okay so i will be getting this id from like this so i'm going to copy these two lines which i already show you what it's about so I'm going to receive these new uh, data, new ID like this. So it is an ID and uh, I'm going to pass an ID like this. So dollar and ID. So it's the patch request and this is where I'm getting the body and I've already set the body over here and ID is already being passed. So to actually patch it, I will run the API slash API. Uh, slash api question mark and then the id equals to any object which we want to update okay and uh, other than this i don't need to update anything so if i go to the patch post i've already created this api i've selected the patch from here and update it here and then the body uh, this id is to identify that which object from that array of post needs to be updated and this is the new data that has to be added over here. So if I go my get posts, this is a post of ID three. Its title is this, and uh, I want to update this title with the new title. Patch means that uh, part of a data needs to be updated. Then we will use the patch. If the whole object needs to be updated, then we will be uh, using put but usually we use patch because uh, uh, usually 99% of times not the complete object is not required to be updated only the few properties attributes of the objects required to be updated again this is a public API it will not be updated in their database but if we get this response while updating and while calling the patch request then we will see that it will work fine so uh, i'll hit send 
and yeah you can see that uh, this data is returned from that api call and you can see that its title is changed over here but not in the database okay so if the new title is changed if we go to there you can see that they change the title and the body and uh, this has been returned over here they used put request because they are passing the complete object okay and we are only passing the title that's why we are using the patch request okay so our patch api call is working fine and lastly we need to call the delete so patching a resource and deleting a uh, resource will not be really updated on server but it will be faked as if okay this is what i have been explaining you so this is how we can call the delete object and it will not return um, i don't think it will return anything because it's not showing over here okay so we can have this filtering but it's up to the api how we can structure the api so let's quickly create the delete request over here so i'm going to copy this and uh, i'm going to change it delete and i need to get the id that which object needs to be deleted so i need to keep the id and uh, here i need to change it to delete and for deleting uh, i don't need anything header over here because of their documentation i don't need the body as well i only need the method okay so let's save it and if i go to the documentation you can see that delete uh, it's not asking us to add the body or the headers we still can keep the header because we are uh, we can have get the json data uh, from the client side if we require to so let's save it and uh, i'm going to postman and this is the delete and if i want to delete a post with id3 i don't need to set the body because i don't want to send the data so let's send it and yeah it's not returning anything and uh, and it's the fake api they already mentioned that it will not be deleted in the database otherwise if 100 people are using their public api and deleting all the posts their api will stop working <laughs> so that's why they are restricting it but we were uh, just testing over uh, these a public apis to utilize and learn the next js api route handler so guys that's pretty much it for this video and don't forget to subscribe my channel i'll be creating more videos mainly the small to large projects in next year 13 and in that project i'll be using um, uh, every concept of Next.js, uh, including the building the ui interfaces components layouts pages uh, as well as I'll be creating the APIs directly inside the next JS 13. So don't forget to subscribe my channel. Uh, see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.